AI catches thieves before they touch your cash. Welcome to the future of finance, where algorithms are your new financial advisors and your money never sleeps. Imagine a world where your savings account has a higher IQ than your old economics professor. Sound far-fetched? Buckle up, buttercup, because we're already halfway down this digital rabbit hole. Who knew crunching numbers could be so exciting? Spoiler alert, your bank account's about to get a PhD in AI. Welcome, you brilliant bit crunchers and fiscal futurists, to another mind bending episode of our show. I'm your host, Theodore, ready to be your guide through the Silicon Valleys and digital peaks of modern finance. Before my neurons start firing off about the fascinating history of bartering, did you know some cultures use giant stones as currency? Talk about heavy spending. Let me introduce our resident experts Gwen, our AI alchemist, and Charlie, our data diviner. Today, my dear digital pioneers, we're diving headfirst into the world of AI and finance and its impact on, well, everything. From fraud detection algorithms that make Sherlock Holmes look like an amateur, to personalized financial advice that knows your spending habits better than you do. So, fire up those synapses, my cherished cognitive explorers. Whether you're a fintech fanatic, an AI aficionado, or just someone wondering why your piggy bank hasn't sprouted wings and started day trading, this episode is your golden ticket to understanding how AI is reshaping the financial landscape. And remember, this is episode 24 of our Business Frontiers and AI Innovations series, exploring AI in finance, algorithmic trading, risk assessment, and fraud detection. Today we're painting a picture of finance so futuristic, even sci-fi writers might need to take notes. Let's decode the future of money before my attention span decides to invest in the next big meme stock. Welcome to uh, a deep dive into financial services applications. It's a fast moving world out there, especially with generative AI coming into play. We'll unpack it all today, looking at market reports, some tech news, even a few expert interviews. It's really about connecting the dots for you. And they're fascinating dots to connect. Imagine a financial system that knows what you need before you do. A system that spots fraud before it happens and helps you deal with all those regulations. That's the potential of AI in finance. Sounds pretty futuristic, right? But let's get down to brass tacks for a second. The numbers are impressive. We're talking about a global market for financial services applications, hitting $233.7 billion by 2030. That's a 6.1% growth rate year on year. Yeah, that's a CAGR, a compound annual growth rate for the finance folks out there. And this growth, it's not random. There are several factors driving it. A big one, our mobile first world. True. It feels like everything happens on our phones now. Banking's no different. You got it. People want their finances at their fingertips. Banking, payments, investments, you name it. So we've seen this boom in mobile banking apps, digital investment tools, the whole nine yards. So convenience is key. Welcome back to the deep dive. But I'm guessing AI and machine learning are adding a whole new dimension. Exactly. It's not just about convenience. Think intelligence. Imagine AI looking at your spending and then suggesting investments, you know, actually tailored to help you reach your goals faster, like having a personal financial guru right on your phone. Some apps are already doing that, aren't they? Offering financial advice and recommending products. Right. That's AI at work. But it goes beyond that. Think about financial crime. AI could be a game changer in that fight. Imagine catching fraudulent transactions in real time protecting your money before it disappears. That'd be huge, yeah. especially with all the online fraud happening these days. Absolutely. And when we talk AI in this field, generative AI is a big player. It can look at huge amounts of data, really understand patterns, and pick out fraud with incredible accuracy. There's a company, Verifin, listed on NASDAQ. They've seen a 25% drop in false positives. That means fewer wild goose chases for them. And get this, 
a 250% increase in accurately identifying real fraud. That's incredible. Makes you wonder how financial institutions are handling the accounting side of all this. Great point, and something we'll dive into later in this deep dive. How companies account for AI development, for the data, even for how they're using cloud computing, it's all evolving alongside the technology itself. So generative AI is changing how we manage money and how we account for it. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's stick with generative AI for a bit. What are some of its specific applications in financial services? Right, Generative AI it is. We've talked about its potential, but I'm always interested in seeing it in action. What are some real-world examples out there? Oh, there are plenty. Like we touched on earlier, personalized financial advice. Imagine getting recommendations, but they're really tailored to you. Say, a high-interest savings account that actually fits your spending habits. NatWest, they're a big financial institution. They did exactly that. Use generative AI. And they saw a 900% jump in applications for a specific savings account. All right, let's hit pause for a second and break this down. What we're seeing here is AI acting like your personal financial matchmaker. Imagine you're scrolling through Netflix and it suggests that perfect show you didn't even know you wanted to watch. Now apply that to your money. AI is looking at how you spend, save, and what you need. Then it's saying, hey, here's a savings account that's perfect for you. And boom, people are jumping on these recommendations because they're spot on. It's not just a random ad. It's like the account was made just for them. That's why we're seeing these crazy numbers, a 900% increase. AI is basically turning banking from a one size fits all to a this is exactly what you need experience. Okay, now that our hosts caffeinated ramblings have been distilled into something resembling coherence, let's dive back into the chaos, shall we? 900%. Hmm. Now that's impressive. That's not just a little boost. It's like a whole new ball game for their marketing. Exactly. It shows how powerful this is. Generative AI can really understand customers, respond to them individually in a way traditional marketing just can't. But it's not just about recommendations. Remember, we talked about financial crime. Right. And not just catching the bad guys, but doing it accurately. Dealing with false positives all the time. That can't be good for business. It's a nightmare. Wastes time, resources, and yeah, it erodes that customer trust. That's where generative AI shines. It can analyze so much data, it learns to tell the difference between a legitimate transaction and something fishy. Fewer false alarms, faster detection, everybody wins. Okay, so personalized advice, fraud prevention. What other parts of financial services are seeing this generative AI impact? What else can it do? One area people don't always think about is the sheer volume of data in finance. Legal documents, financial reports, market data, it's overwhelming. Generative AI can help streamline all that, make it faster, more efficient. Imagine an AI that reads thousands of pages of contracts, picks out the key clauses, flags potential risks. That would be a game changer for legal and compliance teams. Absolutely. It frees them up to focus on the complicated stuff, the things that need a human touch, while the AI handles the heavy lifting. And speaking of efficiency, generative AI can automate tasks like, you know, generating financial reports, summarizing market trends, even drafting personalized messages to customers. Sounds like generative AI is the ultimate multitasker in the financial world. With all this talk about automation, efficiency, it makes you wonder, are there downsides? We mentioned accounting earlier. Any other challenges or concerns? It's good to be cautious. While the potential is huge, generative AI has its challenges. One big one is the uncertainty, you know, trying to figure out where this technology is going long term. It's evolving so quickly that even the experts are struggling to predict what it'll look like in five, 10 years. So a bit of a gamble for businesses and investors. In a way, yes. Some companies might just be riding a wave of hype. Due diligence is essential. You have to separate real innovation from, you know, fancy marketing terms. And speaking of new companies, you've got big players like NVIDIA. They're all in on AI, but you also have a lot of smaller companies. Newer to the scene, they're untested. Makes sense. Sounds like navigating this landscape takes a careful eye, spotting the opportunities, but also watching out for the risks. Exactly. And we haven't even touched on the ethical side of things. Those conversations are crucial as AI becomes more embedded in our financial systems. But before we wrap up, let's go back to accounting, because how we account for this tech, it's just as important as understanding how it works. OK, let's talk accounting then. Generative AI, it's got to bring up some unique accounting questions, right? Definitely. The Deloitte report, it highlights a few key things. First off, figuring out how to account for the development costs. Are we talking 
capitalize those costs, treat it like an investment, or expense them as they happen. Tough call, especially with generative AI, the upfront investment can be huge. Exactly. And then there's the data. Data is like everything to AI. But how do you put a value on that? For accounting, I mean. It's not like there's a price tag on a data set, is there? Right. So is data a separate asset? Yeah. Is it part of the software? R&D expense, maybe? No easy answers and accounting standards are still trying to catch up. I bet. Keeps those accounting teams busy. What about companies using cloud-based AI? How did that play into everything? Another layer of complexity. You've got subscription fees, usage-based models, all sorts of things to factor in and account for correctly. So it's not just the tech itself. It's how companies get it, how they pay. Exactly. Generative AI is pushing the accounting world to adapt, to evolve right alongside this technology. It's been fascinating to dive into all this, the growth in financial services applications, the potential of generative AI, but also the challenges. Any final thoughts? We're on the edge of a major shift. The financial services industry, it's being reshaped by AI. Generative AI is a big part of that. The opportunities are incredible, more efficient, more personalized, even outsmarting fraudsters. But we have to be thoughtful, navigating uncertainty, managing the risks, making sure it's used ethically. It's a fast moving world and we've only just scratched the surface. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. It's clear, the future of finance, anything but boring. And to everyone listening, thanks for being here. We hope this got you thinking, maybe even sparked your curiosity to explore this even further. Well, my esteemed algorithm aficionados and data devotees, We've reached the end of our journey through the AI-powered realm of modern finance. Feeling like your brain just went through a high-frequency trading session? Don't worry, that's just the sound of your neurons trying to keep up with the pace of financial innovation. So what's your take? Are you ready to trust AI with your financial future? Or are you considering teaching your old calculator some new tricks? Maybe you're somewhere in the middle, seeing both the potential for a financial utopia and the risk of a matrix-style takeover of your bank account. If this episode sparked a revolution in your neural pathways, don't keep that intellectual dividend to yourself. Share it with that friend who still thinks blockchain is a fancy Lego set, or that relative who's convinced their lucky coin flip is the pinnacle of investment strategy. Remember, every financial revolution in history started with someone asking, what if? So keep questioning, keep exploring, and who knows, maybe you'll be the one to create the next big AI-powered fintech breakthrough. Just promise me you'll give it a name that doesn't sound like a rejected superhero sidekick. Until next time, stay curious, stay skeptical, and for the love of all that is digitized, don't forget to update your AI's software. This is Theodore, signing off from the crossroads of algorithms and assets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go convince my smart fridge that it's not qualified to manage my retirement portfolio yet. <laughs> <laughs>